Today I'm going to show you how to wire up a pair of headlights using an old school floor mounted dimmer switch and bulbs that have two filaments in each one like the old seal beams, which I'll show you right here. Now I just grabbed one of these from the parts store and this is a round seven inch light, has a low beam and a high beam in it. That's why it has three connectors. And these 1157s that I have right down here, they work the same exact way. They have three wires. One is a ground. In this case, it'll be the top one. And then there's a low beam and a high beam. And when you hook them up, they're going to work exactly the same way as those do. So these are the type of lights that you want to use if you have this type of circuit and you want to use the factory style uh, dimmer switch on the floor. There is another option though. Let me show you. It's the rectangle kind. Now these ones I think are around four inches by six inches or somewhere in there, four and a half by six and a half, something like that. And these work the same exact way. You have the three prongs on the back. There's a low beam, a high beam, and a ground. And again, these work the same exact way as these 1157s here. They have three wires, ground, low, high. And if your car has either two of these or two of the round ones, this circuit is going to be perfect for what you're trying to do. And with the, the last round one, you can see the part number on the box. This one is a 6054, and the other one is a 6024. So these are the style headlights that this circuit is for, and let's jump back into the circuit. Now, most old cars have a giant headlight switch, and they have that giant headlight switch because there's a lot of electricity that goes through it, and they don't use a relay. Now, most cars, if you're like building a hot rod or whatever, and you want to put some headlights in it, you don't want to have that gigantic headlight switch that can handle all kinds of amperage. You want to just put a normal little switch in your dashboard to turn it on and off. And that's why we're going to use a relay, because you can't send a whole lot of electricity through a little tiny switch, or else you'll melt the switch. But you can send a lot of electricity through a relay, and then everything will be safe. This floor-mounted dimmer switch that I'm using is actually out of a 1964 Chevy Impala. And it is part number, it's a standard part, and it's part number DS72. So you can go grab the same exact one from any auto parts store or buy one online. The relay that I'm using right here is just a normal five pin relay, which is called a Bosch style relay. They have five pins and they are very easy to use. You can use them for like a million different purposes. This one even has a diagram on the top, which is pretty great. I'll have a link in the description so you can buy these exact same kind if you want. All right, these two bulbs that I'm using are 1157s and each one has dual filaments. But in your case, you're gonna have the seven inch round headlights uh, that are in every old car on earth, or you'll have the rectangle ones that are in the cars in like the 1980s. And those sealed beam headlights have two filaments in each one, just like these. So they actually work the exact same way. So power comes into the circuit and goes to pin 30. It's this blue wire. That's where all the power comes from your battery through the fuse to pin 30. Now it goes out on pin 87 which is the yellow wire here. So it comes out the relay and it goes over to the top pin on the dimmer switch. Now there's three pins on the dimmer switch. The bottom one closest to me actually goes to the low beam, which you can see here if I pull it off. So that's the low beam. And then the one on the other side goes to the high beam, which is the red wires here. So Power comes into the top, and it goes out through each bottom, and each click swaps which wire gets the electricity. All right, so that shows you how the power comes into the relay and out of the relay. Now we gotta make sure the switch works right. So the power is coming into the switch through a fuse from the battery, goes to the switch, and then it goes from the switch to the white wire, which is pin 86. Now pin 85 is the ground. So what you're doing by flicking the switch is you're telling the relay to jump power from the blue wire, pin 30, to the yellow wire, which is pin 87. And all that's doing is taking the power from this fuse through the relay and it's sending it to this. And then this controls whether it's the low beam or the high beam. If you have any other questions, definitely leave me a comment below. And if you get a chance, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Hopefully this helps you out. And definitely let me know what kind of cars you're working on in the comments, because I like seeing other people's projects just as much as you do. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.